Morning everybody. Today we're going to be hauling some more slop out of the corrals. They're getting pretty muddy. They already are and we're not just going to stand around and wait for them to dry. There's so much mud in the corrals it's difficult for the cows to walk around. So today we're going to try and speed up the drying process by cleaning up all of that slop. So we're going to start this MX-285 up. Oh man it is definitely spring out here. Let's quickly check the oil. That is about perfect. Now we're gonna check the oil on this case loader before we get started. We got a little switch here. It's got an electric hood, which is pretty cool. It hasn't broken down on us yet, but I imagine, you know, once this loader gets like 10,000 hours on it, probably not gonna be the coolest thing in the world if it doesn't open up someday. But for now, it still opens up, so it's still good. Walk around to the other end here. And we can see oil's still pretty good in there. These are the two corrals that I for sure want to get done today. They are the dry cow corrals and they're probably the muddiest corrals aside from one steer corral. I want to get these ladies corrals cleaned out. So today I'm just going to be focusing on the muck in front here. We're not going to be tackling the straw packs. That'll be in a week or two from now. I just want to clean out this front muddy area because then it's going to dry a lot quicker and then I'll tackle the straw packs next week or something. Whenever we get to that, it's going to make this whole corral a lot drier, take out all the moisture. That's going to make cleaning it out a lot easier. These are probably the deepest spots in the corrals right here behind the feed bunk, surprisingly, because there is concrete underneath here, but there's almost a solid foot of liquid manure pretty much, or just pure muck right here. And uh, it'd be awesome for these cows to get out of it. In the last video I was hauling manure, someone asked me, Jan, why don't you guys pave concrete in all of these corrals? It'd be, you know, a lot of work to probably maintain that dirt floor in these corrals. And that is true. The dirt does come out of these corrals, especially when it's this muddy. Not only do the cows kind of kick it up as they're walking around in that mud, but also when you're scooping it out with the wheel loader, you always scoop a little bit out every spring and fall when you're cleaning these corrals out. So the dirt does kind of just disappear into thin air. Of course, you're skipping it out, but it kind of just looks like it disappears. And you do quite often, every two to three years, these corrals need to be completely backfilled. Sometimes we got to put almost a foot of dirt in there. But we do have a pile of topsoil here on the yard that we kept from when we built the barns and that topsoil pile is behind the corrals right there so it's pretty convenient to bring dirt in these corrals for us because we have a massive pile right there it would be awesome if there was concrete here obviously in all these corrals but the cost to put concrete in all these corrals would be it'd be over a million bucks i'll so put it that way and uh, for that price you might as well put down a barn like a freestyle barn that would be a way better way to spend your money versus probably pouring concrete in the floor of all these corrals. To put it simply, we barely struggle with mud in these corrals, only if it's a wet summer, which happens, you know, one in 10 years where it's gonna be super horribly wet out here. It is the prairies and you know, six months out of the year, it's frozen, so there's no mud then. And usually it's just dry out here in Saskatchewan. So it's maybe, it's such a little amount of time that we actually struggle with mud in these corrals. And there's absolutely no way that we could justify pouring the floor of these corrals completely with concrete. But that's enough talking, we should probably get to work now. We're gonna move all of the ladies, all the dry cows from this corral into that corral, lock it off with the gate in there, and then we can get to work on this pen here. So yeah, this is the fun part of my day. But once we get these ladies moved over, it'll be good. Hopefully they cooperate a bit and start to walk over there. Don't really wanna run in this corral. Yeah, it's hard work running in this corral right now. Oh.
So you can see after just starting this corral up here, getting the first little bit of manure pushed away from the gate here, we can see this dark layer underneath all of that muck. That's topsoil, that's the solid dirt layer underneath the corral. It's pretty much flush with the feed bunk there and the concrete behind the feed bunk, so it's still pretty solid. Maybe that's frost. You can see that the loader isn't sinking in it at all, so that's really good. We're now ready for a wagon and a tractor. This is the third driveway to our farm. It gives us access to the shoot handling system there, the tub and the loading ramp for cattle liners that come and pick up loads of steers or cows. And uh, it also gives us access to the drive through for the corrals there. We have a set of gates here that is always closed just in case some of the corrals do get out and it's connected to a barbed wire fence that goes all around this entire area. Just to make sure that if a corral was to get out, they're not gonna end up on the road. It's happened before, it's not ideal. You kinda wanna try and avoid that at all costs. You never know what could happen. This load here is so sloppy, we might as well just put it in our liquid manure tanker pretty much, but uh, can't do that with the curls, unfortunately. I'm gonna try and keep all this in this wagon. see there that load is pretty much like jello just rocking back and forth and if you hammer the brakes really hard it's all gonna go over the front of that wagon so you just got to be careful you got to slow down pretty slowly give yourself enough time before you're gonna turn speed up a bit slowly as well you just got to be cautious and take it a little bit easier and it's only gonna be for this sloppy crap in here we might have two or three more loads left in this first corral so not horrible I could probably spend another hour in here making sure it's all perfect right along the walls and stuff. We're not trying to be perfect. We pretty much scooped that entire puddle out. It took forever to scoop that thing out, but it was pretty much just pure water. Anyway, this grill is looking really good. We took six loads of slop out of here, which was insane that there was that much in this one corral. Anyway, we got it out. We're gonna move these dry cows back into this pen. I don't think it's gonna be hard to convince them to wanna go back in this pen because they're actually out of feed in the one feed bunk there. And there's food still in this one because they haven't touched it all day. So it uh, shouldn't be too hard to move them over. It's kind of like getting fresh bedding. It's all new to them again. And just like that, on to the next grill. So we're hauling this out to our sandiest field, which is about two miles driving from our farm. And uh, last summer, they actually built up the gravel road here. It was just a summer road, or a road allowance, basically a dirt track through two fields. But they actually built it up into a gravel road, which is allowing me to drive like four times as quick, saving me a ton of time. And uh, that's just incredibly awesome. I always imagined like, man, I wish they could just build this road up into a nice gravel road and last fall they did right before it snowed so i'm hitting this gravel road a lot quicker than i usually would which is awesome you guys can see it's brand new the ditches they're still completely bare there's nothing growing in there yet this summer they'll turn green i'm sure but you can just see how brand new this road is it's pretty awesome and it's saving me a ton of time so i'm pretty stoked about it well we just finished the third corral and it's pretty good. It's got a solid dirt layer in here as well, which is excellent. Sun's about to start setting, but uh, we're gonna 
try and get a start on this fourth corral here. This is corral number six. It's one of our two biggest corrals and it's actually pretty dry. It's not a complete swamp in this corral, so it's gonna be a lot nicer, a lot easier to scoop out than the other three that we did today. But yeah, we're gonna chase these ladies into this corral because these two are kind of tied together as well, just like the dry cow pens, eight and nine. So let's do it. So this is the reason why this corral is gonna be a lot nicer. You can see I'm already able to heap it up. Most of this corral is pretty solid. That's awesome. Pretty nice evening out here. Well guys, we've hauled manure right up until about nine o'clock tonight here, right till when I can check the cows before I go home, make sure everything's good, and then I go straight to bed. I'm looking forward to it, it's been a long day. So basically what we're gonna do here, uh, this night check, we're gonna push up the feed on these straw packs here. And then we're also just checking to make sure that no one's struggling to calve. That's the biggest thing. We don't want to see somebody that's struggling, that's maybe got a backwards calf or something like that, because then we got to go and help her out. And that's kind of the main purpose of this night check. Also just to go through the barns, make sure that all the gates are closed, make sure there's no water bowls spilling over, stuff like that. Just get one last eye on it before we leave and go to bed. So uh, we don't come back tomorrow morning to something crazy. Or that's the idea behind it anyway, so. Yeah, no one's calving right now, so that's awesome, less work. Main cow barn. Juno's running, so that's good. All the cows look like they're in their pens where they're supposed to be, so that's also good. And all the water bowls are good as well, so. Everything on the farm is good, and uh, that means I can go home now, go to bed. Thank you guys very much for watching today's video, and I uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. I'll see you later.